Hello, ladies. How are y'all doing today? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to chat with you about this series because when I tell y'all, I was in tears, like laughing, watching this show. <laughs> it was so, so hilarious. Like, I, I need to re binge it, the, the six episodes we have again because I was dying, <laughs> I was dying so much. But, um, <laughs> dive right in Aaliyah I'll start with you um I wanted to know did you have a college experience and if so was it anything like this and did you like shape your portrayal based upon any of your own experiences yeah that's a great question I definitely had a college experience I went I'm from Houston Texas and I went to school at the University of Michigan so I similarly like went far away from home um and also similarly like I'm on my own for the first time. And I think I grew up in a space where I couldn't really explore myself in terms of like my blackness and my sexuality and really finding who I am. And so going to a big school, you're just like a little bitty fish in this huge pond. Mm -hmm. And there's this, there's this freedom in that. And also this like shocking sense of like, I have no clue what I'm doing. I have no clue who I am. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes on the way to figuring it out, you know? And so that, in that way, it's uh, similar. And also Michigan is a predominantly white institution and Essex is very white school. And so um, that those things, though they might not be inherently like spoken on, I think they're always part of Whitney's experience, always part of my experience, no matter where I'm at or what space I'm occupying. So like, yeah, very similar. Yeah, yeah, and Renee, for you. I'm super familiar with you because I'm also from North Carolina. So um, <laughs> shout out to Oh my God, that. where are you from? Well, I'm from, um, I went to school at UNC Chapel Hill, but I lived in Charlotte for several years. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're neighbors, yes. hi. Yes, yes. So um, I know you are also in Mean Girls on Broadway, of course. There's kind of hints of that in your character, just a little bit, but a little bit different too. I just sure. want to know that experience of playing a character who's kind of similar, but different to um, that stint as well. I mean, it was it was cool. It was really cool. It was also like kind of fun because like when I was in Mean Girls, I was a teenager and now I'm like a full adult, I guess. <laughs> and so it's like I'm and that was in high school. So I'm kind of going like from high school to college in, in real time. And I didn't have a collegiate experience until now. So like this is it. Um, and 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 the character, the character is similar, but is also different just in the fact that like you have six months to work on something. So inherently there's going to be more layers and more things to explore. Um, and it's also fun because like I feel like I'm growing with a the kind of character who's like not doing the best things, but like she's trying to be like okay. Maybe mm -hmm. will be we'll see. But mm -hmm. yeah, love to hate her. <laughs> 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 and Pauline and Amrit, for both of you, same question, um, because I know both of your characters are kind of like, most of the comic relief comes from you two, but at the same time, you know, all the girls are going through their things, but you two kind of have some of the more the deeper issues, um, especially when it comes to, you know, like relationship, exploring your sexual identity and things like that. So how do you navigate the kind of different tones that are with both of your characters? Um, I think navigating the tones comes with like, just like the nuance of life, right? Yeah. Like you, you're, you're able to, um, we, we're, we're walking, living contradictions all the time. Yeah. So what is it like to want to try and fit in, in an establishment? And then also at the same time, have moments where you really feel like you fit in and then you're like, wait, but I don't. And, you know, just exploring that. And that was really like a scene by scene thing. Sometimes it's scenes where it's like, ah, I feel good. And then other scenes where I was like, oh no, this is one of the scenes where I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think the complexities of life is funny. Humanity is funny. That's what makes it comic. But um, personalization makes a big deal that I use Bella as an outlet to talk about my struggles with sexuality, race issues, politics, patriarchy. So I channeled all of that through the writing. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you all so much. And again, I can't wait for everyone to see this series. Like Pauline, when you showed up to that, um, the Black Affinity House and the Dashiki, that is a scene that I have laughed at. So <laughs> I like we it so many times. Like, it's hilarious. I can't wait for everyone to see this show. And thank you all so much. <laughs> thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.